What's going on guys? My name is Dave Higgins. Welcome to Sandbox Explorer. What exactly is going on down here? But still I want it strong. Through this weird and wonderful landscape I'm waiting patiently My simple happy songs Alright, we are just over a month in Animal Crossing Finally, and we are about to get to update 1.1.5. Nintendo has provided us with a few updates, but we're finally gonna get a big one. In the last video that Nintendo released about Bunny Day, they told us there's gonna be another update in April. They showed us Leaf's face when they mentioned that, but there was more information that they hadn't told us. Not that that was really a lot anyways, it was just Leaf's face alluding to the fact that he was going to be in the game. Well, in the real world, April 22nd is Earth Day. Well, in Animal Crossing, from April 23rd to May 4th, may the 4th be with you, there's going to be a Nature Day promotion. In the beginning of this video, Nintendo shows Leaf with his own stand, similar to Kix, Sable, and other characters who show up in the town square, resident services area, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. In there, he'll be selling us shrubbery, which we haven't had in this game yet. We've had it in previous iterations of the game, but not in New Horizons yet. I feel like any veteran silly game series would assume that it was going to be added eventually. Eventually wasn't too long, luckily. Those are really useful to have for the rocks in your town. If you have them in places you want, you don't want to break them, you can plant shrubs in the corner and you can prevent yourself from moving backwards instead of digging holes every time. So that's a good addition to have to the game that we can use for, you know, our advantage. Also, the bushes will just look nice in the town. <laughs> It also shows them selling seeds, presumably at random. I don't know, it's gonna be like seeds that you don't have, seeds you do have, I don't know. I'm guessing they're just gonna be random ones. So you can get like different ones that you don't have on your island. We'll find out very soon. But during the Nature Day promotion, there's going to be specific Nook Miles related to seemingly Leafs selling you bushes and things like that, that you can complete to get extra Nook Miles. Slightly overlapping with Nature Day is going to be May Day. May Day runs for the first week of May, it runs from the 1st to the 7th. In the video from Nintendo, it shows the player redeeming a May Day ticket at the airport with Orville the same way that you redeem a regular ticket to go to one of the random islands that gets generated and you go catch tarantulas if you're lucky to get to one of those islands, or whatever else, collect resources, etc. However, we don't know the extent to what these islands have, although the one in the video shows some shrubbery, like a maze basically on there that you explore to get resources, maybe special tools or something, I don't know. But if you look in the back right corner at one point, you see your boy Rover. Rover has been in the game since the moment you started the game. Well, right after you talked to KK in the GameCube version. But the first train ride, your first experience getting to an island or actually to a town, it wasn't an island, is spent talking to Rover. So he's going to finally be in the game. I got the amiibo for him back there. I'm excited to see what his role in New Horizons is going to be. Hopefully he'll be someone who's not just going to be there for the beginning of May every year and then he's not going to be available because I like Rover. He's cool. But like, we'll find out. Then, from the middle-ish to the end of May, from the 18th to the 31st, there's International Museum Day. It's a little weird because it's not a day, it's like almost two weeks. But I'll take it, whatever, it's fine. As we see in this video, we talk to Blathers and he's talking about there being a stamp rally. We also see the player walking up to a little booth, if you want to call it that, where we see three slots marked Coral Reef, The Coast, and Serenity Tank. The Coast has a stamp on it, so presumably whatever the criteria is to meet for that has been met. I don't know what that will be, I don't know if you have to complete the tank, it seems like that would be kind of weird because there's going to be some other fish that you're not going to be able to get till like June and further, but maybe you have to get, I, I, I don't know, we don't know yet. But there's going to be some sort of event with the museum, which is really cool because I'm a big fan of the museum. Especially in this one, it's crazy. I love the museum. They did such a good job with it. It's great. And then for all of June, apparently, from the 1st to the 30th, it's going to be wedding season. Which I guess makes sense because that's probably in real life when most people get married because it's super, super nice out and hooray. Now in this video, it shows us on Harvey's Island, Photopia, with Cyrus and Reese who ran the retail shop in New Leaf. Are they going to be making a comeback in this game with retail or having some other sort of shop or role on the island? Uh, who, who knows at this point, but they're gonna be able to be in this apparently. Now in this video, it only shows the two of them and you're setting up the photo studio to be set up like a chapel basically and shows them having a wedding anniversary, whatever, which seems pretty reminiscent of the Happy Home Designer and Happy Home Room, you know, mini game thing for Pocket Camp, kind of a mashup of the two seemingly. 
I'm not sure if you're gonna be scored on what you do, but it, it definitely seems like it's kind of similar to that. So that's gonna be interesting to see if that builds to be something that's a regular thing that changes as the time goes on. Maybe there'll be different themes that you have to do that to compete for points or something. But at least in June, there's gonna be a wedding season one. Oh, did you think that was it? Well, it's not. Possibly my favorite part of this update is that Crazy Red is back. I love that character. He's kind of a scumbag, to be totally honest, but I, I like him, he's funny. And I like foxes. Now, although he's always gone by Crazy Red, maybe he needed to change his name because people caught on to him or something. Now he's Jolly Red. Now, you know that small little secret beach in the top left-hand corner of your island? Well... There's a reason for that. Now, I thought that if there was gonna be any character like this, it would probably be at the pier, but I think the pier might actually end up being Cap'n at some point. I don't know, we don't know yet, but I have a feeling Cap'n will be the guy at that pier. I also hope to see Tortimer. I wanna see maybe like more islands like Harvey's where you can go and do stuff besides just that like, you know, Nook Miles ticket for the random islands. That'd be pretty cool. I, I hope that we see at least like one or two more special specific islands around us that we can go visit. However, we're talking about Red right now. Jolly Red's treasure trawler will be at that small little secret beach at the top of your island. He'll come by, you'll go onto his ship. I also love that he's kind of like, not really a pirate, but like he's kind of a pirate. It kind of also makes sense for his character because he always has this black market stuff, so it kind of makes sense that he probably stole it and now he's a pirate who steal things. Now, normally he only sold artwork and statues and there would always be one real one and a bunch of fakes. If you're like me, then whenever he came around, you'd probably go online and you'd find the actual paintings that he's selling and you'd compare it to what he has and then you'd see if it's real or fake and then you'd buy the real one, donate it to the museum and not waste your bells on a fake one because then if you buy a fake one, it's not worth anything, Blathers won't take it and you have to sell it for like basically nothing and what a waste of money. He got you. However, in this video, it tells you that you can buy artwork and furniture. That's a new one. Furniture is not something he sold before, so it's interesting to see. I don't know what that's going to be exactly. Before, anything that he sold was only able to be donated to the museum. I mean, you could do whatever you want with it, but it was stuff that was for the museum. It wasn't just random furniture, so I don't know what he's gonna have, but I'm really intrigued because I like that guy. He's pretty cool. Well, I guess he sucks, but like, I don't know, I, I like him. <laughs> Now tying into that, I talked about earlier how the museum is awesome in this game and I really always have loved the museum and this one's just super cool. Well, we're gonna get an expansion to the museum having artwork. I don't know exactly which door it's gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be on the second floor. I would assume that it's probably gonna be up the stairs in the center. I don't know. But along with Crazy Red, well, Jolly Red coming into the game, you're gonna be able to donate the stuff that he sells to you to the museum, have the art section, which is really cool. Also, as a side little detail about the museum, you may have noticed this, you may have not, but the more things that you donate to the museum, the more it'll actually expand the stuff that's in your museum. The more fish you donate, you'll start seeing like items kind of scattered about the aquarium area and even some in the bug area. Same thing with the insect area, you'll see items in different exhibits and things like that. So that's just a cool little detail about the museum, just wanted to share that. It's not an update, but I'm sure that with the addition of the artwork area, there's going to be even more stuff to have kind of scattered about different areas. Also, I'm wondering if at some point we're gonna see Brewster because he was in the museum at a prior point in time. Maybe he'll make a comeback. Maybe he'll have his own standalone cafe. Maybe he's not gonna be in the game, but we'll see. Well, that's it. Oh, wait a minute, no. I mean, that's all the Animal Crossing stuff, but I just wanna say this. So if you finish watching this video and you wanna have some more bonus stuff in it for another, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, then sit right there. So as you know, if you've been following my channel, I am from New England, I am a Patriots fan, so. You, you know. Well, 2020 has been ugh, not a good year to be a Patriots fan. So far, whenever Animal Crossing news comes up, there seems to be some horrible, horrible, horrible thing happening to do with the Patriots. I was super excited a month ago, right around when Animal Crossing was coming out, the week of, yes, there's nothing bad that can happen in the world besides coronavirus is really bad, but like, Animal Crossing's coming out, so I'm really happy. And then Tom Brady was like, hey guys, it's been real, but see ya. So that was really devastating, and it really killed me inside. But at least Animal Crossing came out, so... <sighs> but I've been trying to block it out of my mind, I guess, and I've been doing an okay job, whatever. I've been distracted because I'm working, because I'm an essential worker, and I've been playing Animal Crossing for like every waking hour that I'm not at work. Then a couple of days ago, I saw the Patriots release their new jerseys, and I think they look terrible. 
I honestly really love the old design. At this point now, it's the old design. I really love that, to be totally honest. I thought they were pretty perfect. But they were like, nah, we're gonna make them look really bad. So like, all right, whatever, that's fine. That's just the aesthetics, whatever. Then I'm like, oh cool, Animal Crossing update. This is gonna be awesome. We're gonna have like Earth Day or Nature Day, whatever. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Whoa, nothing bad else can happen having to do with the Patriots. And then Gronkowski was like, hey guys, I know I've been retired for like a year or so and uh, I've been doing stuff with WWE and uh, you know, that's all fine and good, but hey, can you guys trade me to the Buccaneers? And then they did for a fourth round draft pick. The greatest tight end of all time has been traded for a fourth round draft pick. Not a third round, not a second round, not a first round, but a fourth round. So I don't understand. I was having a conversation with my sister about this because she asked how I was handling the news and I said that I was dead inside. We kind of speculated and we're like, what would make these players leave this team where they've had great success and they are absolutely heroes? Belichick is a great coach, but is for some reason this issue having to do with him? I don't know kind of speculated that if it happens to, I don't know, literally no idea, I'm just speculating. Maybe there's been some kind of personality change in regards to the team and the players, and if there has been one, I kind of think maybe it might have been somewhere between the 28 to three comeback and the Super Bowl they lost to the Eagles. Sitting a player because of like, what was it? He missed a practice or something before the Super Bowl. I think that was what it was. Seems like a really bad decision to make because then they lost and he was a good player. Really, really, really made a big difference that year. So I don't know if the reason that they kind of wanted to leave and go somewhere else was due to him. I don't know. I think he's a great coach, but that happened. So I got this jersey. It's a great jersey and now I can't wear it. I also got this jersey, it's a great jersey too, and I can't wear that either. Oh, and this one, which is kind of like the new jersey that they have, but it's not really yet, but it's similar, but no, can't wear that either. Now I know I'm going off about a whole different thing that's not Animal Crossing, but like it needs to be said. My three favorite players ever since each one of them joined the team was Brady, Grunk, and Edelman. Now two of the three are gone to the Buccaneers. If Edelman ends up going to the Buccaneers, I might literally cry. It's a good thing Animal Crossing is out because it can distract my mind so I can at least be happy when I'm playing Animal Crossing. And I understand if you're not a Pats fan, especially if you're like, a, I don't like the Pats at all, then you're probably like, ha too bad, sucks. And you're right, it does suck. <laughs> but um, whatever, <laughs> 2020 is just, besides Animal Crossing, it's a big, <sighs> But at least we do have Animal Crossing, which has some awesome stuff coming to it and hopefully a bunch more at some point. Nintendo seems to really be supporting this game live. Like they've been doing a lot of updates. We're already at 1.1.5 as of the 23rd. So we're gonna have a bunch more presumably. I don't know. I'm excited for whenever it reaches 1.2. I feel like that's gonna be like a huge big update. I don't know, but like we got plenty of stuff coming up. It's pretty cool also that Nintendo seems to listen to us when we complain about things, which Sometimes it's justified, sometimes maybe not so much. Bunny Day was a little bit bumpy, but they obviously care what we think and listen. So they, you know, kind of nerfed the egg amount of spawning. The event seemed to last kind of long because of the fact that we had so many eggs. Everyone probably had all of the stuff crafted by like day three. <laughs> But it's pretty cool that they're definitely taking this game like seriously, like this is a big game. Like I've loved Animal Crossing since GameCube. Like I loved it, it's been my favorite game series since GameCube. And it's really cool to see that apparently like everybody loves it now. So yes, we got a whole bunch of stuff coming up in the game update on Thursday, the 23rd of April. Don't forget to update your game and have fun out there on your island. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you wanna see more information, gameplay, whatever about Nintendo Switch from yours truly. And share if anybody else might want to know this information. Stay tuned, I will see you on the next one. Bye bye